MPs had hoped to hear from the CEO of Rogers. Instead, another executive appeared. They, at the last minute, did a rope and dope on this committee. Um, they switched out the witness. I cannot believe they did this. Like, did they really think that there would be no consequence? I think it's unacceptable that Mr. Staffieri thinks it's more important to do whatever it is he's doing. The Standing Committee on Industry and Technology wants to question Tony Staffieri after revelations in a Go Public investigation. Hundreds of Rogers customers told us they were outraged after their bills jumped, even though they signed a contract thinking they had a fixed price. They were being charged more for things like rented TV boxes, not knowing price guarantees do not apply to rental equipment. Rogers' greed is completely out of control, wrote one person. People are fed up, wrote another. I think a deal's a deal, a handshake's a handshake. Uh, live up to those contract expectations. When the CEO ducked the spotlight, the committee passed a motion now summoning him to testify. We need to clearly communicate that if you do not show up, you will be brought before Parliament and you will be dealt with. Rogers customers have also written the regulator, all urging action. The CRTC must step in to fix the situation, wrote one person who shared his email. We need the CRTC to block them from this business practice, said another. The regulator says recent media coverage is concerning. It's now holding public consultations and will examine those controversial clauses. It's on our agenda. We are consulting on it and with the intention of taking some form of action. A spokesperson for Rogers says the CEO couldn't appear Thursday due to an unforeseen scheduling conflict, but says he will show up next week. The committee has also invited the CEOs of Bell and Telus to appear to discuss clauses that allow price hikes during their contracts too. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.